Scared. I had to happen eventually. It's been a while, but it's time. As you can see, I'm in shorts. Today we hit legs. And what better way to start a leg session than with squats. Good old squats. Oh, I feel like these guys are uh, my arch enemy. Um, although I rave about them so much that you gotta squat. I mean, there's no point building a big upper body. I mean, what's gonna support that big upper body? It's gotta be a big lower body. You need to build big strong wheels and primary movement for those is squats. Um, so started off uh, with just the bar and then tens either side. This is my first uh, working set, uh, 60 kilos. Um, this used to be my warm up weight. Um, this felt relatively heavy uh, to be honest with you. I haven't uh, squatted in uh, a long time. So trying to focus on the movement, trying to make sure that um, my uh, squatting pattern is still good. Uh, weight in the heels, chest upright, um, torso in line, a uh, little arch in the lower back, making sure, trying to make sure that the, uh, the bar path is straight as much as possible and doesn't kind of go too far forward, um, otherwise the weight is dipping forward onto the toes um, and then you need to um, uh, use your lower back to straighten back up again, which obviously puts strain on your lower back and you don't want to be doing that. So. A uh, few of the classic uh, classic pointers for squats. Um, those are first and foremost, most important one: brace. Inflate your stomach, big breath in, and then brace as if someone's gonna punch you in the stomach. Important for deadlifts and squats, anything where you're lifting stuff and coming back up again. Squeeze the floor. Screw your feet into the floor and twist them apart. Tight upper back, almost pull the bar down over your top of your back, almost as if you're trying to bend the bar. And lastly, keep your chest up and keep a neutral spine. No overarching of the neck and the head. Keep all those points in mind when you're squatting. And you may have noticed in the background, uh, this is not something I normally do and I haven't ever done to be honest with you because generally I don't have access to this kind of machine, is I started squatting in the, um, uh, in the Smith machine um, just to try and make sure that I'm leaning back properly and keeping the weight squarely on the heels and the weight's coming through the center of the foot. I tried it out, it felt quite good, so work it in there if you feel you need to. After that, moved on to some stiff-legged deadlifts. Um, great for hamstrings, great for the lower back and the glutes. Uh, make sure you're deadlifting off the, off the floor nice and clean. Um, come down until you feel a nice stretch in the, uh, in the hamstring and then straight back up again. Don't overarch in the lower back. Keep your head nice and neutral. Um, work up to a decent weight, don't go too heavy on these because you want to make sure you're not injuring your lower back. But at the same time, as we all know, you need to go heavy to build serious muscle. So don't take that as an excuse to not go heavy. You need to go heavy, just make sure you stay safe when you do go heavy. Um, so this was my um, fourth set. I had to switch it up to an over and under grip because my grip started to fail. Uh, which is fine, there's nothing wrong with that, just try and make sure you stay even. Um, there's some random, randomness going in at the, uh, the end of this video, random leg coming in there. And yeah, <laughs> my buddy Wesley, who I met in the gym, shout out to Wesley, um, a fellow Bradley Martin supporter. Um, he's in my, uh, in my local gym, uh, you'll see him in a sec. There he is, 
big man. So yeah, we had a good good little chat. Um, moved on from there to classic quad dominant exercise, leg curls. Um, I did a bit of a, a superset on these. Uh, so you do a set of a uh, set of ten on a on a decent ish weight. Uh, make sure you're doing a little bit of a hold at the top because that's when you're really focusing on the quads uh, on the lockout portion because you're really going to hit them hard. Once you've done 10, drop to half the weight um, and do another 10 um, single leg. Um, and then obviously make sure you alternate it. So do uh, 10, 10 on both legs, half the weight, then 10 on one leg uh, and then switch it up and do 10 on the other leg. Um, this is seriously going to give you a burn, but it really targets the quads. Um, I mean, I can barely stand up, uh, and I did this yesterday. So um, this is uh, this is awesome. So work this superset in. I think I did uh, four sets in total of this superset, and on from there to what's this called again? Uh, the hack squat hack squat now you can do this if you don't have this machine in the gym you can still do this just put the barbell behind your feet and uh, imagine you're doing a deadlift so normally with a deadlift the barbell will be in front of your feet um, but if you put the barbell behind you and you lift it up uh, then essentially you can see based on the motion that you're going to be doing uh, a hack squat now I know most of you watching out there going what the hell are you doing there's no weight on there but like I said because of my injury, I just kind of, this is the first day back in there doing legs. I just wanted to go in there, go through the motion, just feel the, uh, the legs working, just see if there was any pain. I wanted to take it easy, really, to be honest with you. Wait, what the? Myron? Um, hamstrings, another hamstring exercise. Um, the reverse leg curl, I guess, or the hamstring curl. So the lying, um, lying hamstring curl. Um, nothing much to say about this. Uh, banged out four sets of, uh, of ten reps and a relatively heavy weight. Uh, these feel really good, so no pain there. So these are all good. And I believe the last exercise I did uh, was these. Um, so leg press. Now again, same thing as I did with the leg curl, I did a superset on here, uh, starting with the, uh, the single leg. So 10 off the, uh, off the left leg, then switch it up, 10 off the right leg, and then 10 on both legs. Um, so start with a relatively lightish weight that you can do 10 reps with, um, and then obviously stick to, you can go to twice the weight if you can uh, if you can manage it. If not, just make sure you increase the weight when you go to the uh, the, uh, the double leg. Um, now this one you can probably go quite heavy on here, but just be careful with this that your lower back stays nice and uh, stable on the seat. Um, a lot of people tend to slide forward on this, um, and that's going to cause injury for your uh, for your lower back, which is why a lot of physios and chiropractors etc. really hate the leg press machine. Um, especially the one where you're kind of seated down, sit, sitting down and you're almost pushing up over your head. Uh, I didn't get a chance to use that one. I was going to use that one instead of this one, but uh, too many people on that machine, so I couldn't use it. But um, as you can see, I'm not lifting anything particularly heavy, um, but uh, it still hurts. It's really good. Make sure you get a nice little stretch at the bottom and uh, a full lockout uh, to make sure the whole leg is working. But don't just stick to the lightweights. This is extra credit. Just so you know, I can lift heavy weight. I think this was uh, 100, 100 kilos um, on, the, uh, on the machine. So just thought I'd see, uh, test it out. Uh, first couple of reps. Keep my hands on my knees for a bit of stability to make sure I didn't squash myself. Um, but I you know, managed to push out a couple of reps. You know, Lightweight, baby! Lightweight! Run it. That's it, guys. Intense session.
I did that, like I said yesterday, <sighs> mate, still feeling the burn every single time I sit down and get up again is painful, so it definitely works. Uh, till next time, stay smart, stay strong, stay smooth. Peace. Oh. Oh.